what I would suggest is you refer back to that page from time to time now and uh, add to it as things wind you up write it down because if you write it down we can do something about it because you're bringing it into your conscious mind and we can challenge it so let's look at what the symptoms are physical symptoms for a start loss of appetite and overeating anybody have that when you go off your food indigestion stomach distress lingering colds fatigue general aches and pains yeah Ooh, there's a lot of nodding going on constipation diarrhea <laughs> it's good, isn't it? <laughs> usually happens and insomnia and constant tiredness they're very common aren't they just shows the balance has gone it's either all one or all the other and then we've got sweating for no apparent reason and headaches and cramps and muscle spasms and things like that they're very very common feeling sick for no apparent reason you know stomach churning breathlessness without exertion a lot of people get that we haven't got time to talk about sex so we'll leave that and constant fidgeting you know you can't sit still I, I sometimes get clients and they sit in my lovely relaxing chair and they're fidgeting and their legs going and, uh. <laughs> of course I can watch that today you see and then we've got pressurized behaviors the, the, you don't do these but you'll see some people that do uh, you wouldn't increase the use of alcohol would you Rosemary no no, just to get a better feeling. Yeah. And smoking, of course, is... Uh, is uh, overeating, uh, just can't stop. And my daughter bought me a box of Maltesers, a big box of Maltesers for Father's Day. I haven't opened it yet. 30 years ago, I'd have had to open it and eat the lot within 24 hours. And that box will probably be three quarters or half full by the time Christmas comes, so they've probably melted in the box. <laughs> uh, under eating, of course, is another one. Uh, I see a lot of people with um, um, eating disorders, anorexia, and things like that. Absenteeism, that's when you can't be bothered to go to work, you've got a bit of an ad cold. And what does that do to the colleagues at work? Absolutely. So then what do you feel? Guilty? Irritability, that's very, very common, short-tempered, and we're not talking about sex, so we'll leave that. Overreaction, do you see people that overreact? And rushing around, I haven't got five minutes for this, that and the other, I haven't got time to do that, I've got all this to do now. Impulsive behaviour, that's when we do things on the spur of the moment and then think, Christ, what, what have I done that for? <laughs> you see a nice new coat in the shop, you go and buy it, and then when you're walking down the street with your new coat and your better feeling, and guilt comes in and thinks, oh, I've got the rates at the end of the month and the mortgage wants paid as well. <laughs> Being reclusive, antisocial, very, very common that. People just switch off and go inside themselves. Drug abuse and uh, inflexibility, nagging, blaming other people. It's your fault, it's their fault, it's the government's fault, it's the fault of the National Health Service. Emotional reactions, you won't have any of these of course. Feeling unable to cope, the brain just switches off, doesn't it? I can't manage, I can't be doing with it now. Worry and anxiety, and depression, when we withdraw, and boredom, and guilt, unrealistic phobias and fears. They're very, very common. And low self-esteem, which usually leads to a lack of interest in life and feelings of failure, self-worth. I'm worthless. I've failed. I'm no good at this. I'm no good at that. Why do I bother? And then, of course, you go to the doctors and he looks at that and he says, oh, well, take these antidepressants and let's see where you go. Come back in a fortnight. Is that right? I mean, correct me if I'm not right, but that's what all my clients tell me. 
It's extreme, but it's commonplace. Yeah, it is extreme, but it's commonplace. I, I bet there isn't a week goes by that I haven't got uh, at least two clients with a list of these. And it's just because the world's not going according to their plan. We'll talk more about that later on.